Hey guys, so today's um, video is a little bit different than normal. We're actually going to be talking about my favorite um, self tanners. I have been using these since I was in middle school because who doesn't want to be tan? And um, I kind of went this route instead of using tanning beds because my dad actually had melanoma when I was younger. Um, I'm also in the skincare industry and <clears throat> Skin cancer is real. Um, I think that everyone should avoid tanning beds and be super cautious when they're out in the sun. Um, and this is just a great alternative that I think that everyone should know a little bit more about. So I've tried every single line in the market and basically I just wanted to kind of go over my favorites and some things that I'm just not totally a fan of. So to start, I would like to show you that I have on right now I know I have a sweatshirt on, but I have a sun-kissed glow, I feel, and I feel pretty tan for myself. Um, this is the St. Tropez One Hour Express Foam. You use foams by applying with a mitt, which they sell in stores. They do not look like this. This has actually been used a couple times, so um, that's just from the product, but um, you'll basically get a nice full bottle of this, which will last you so many uses, and then you can buy the mitt separately. Just squirt a few pumps onto the mitt and apply it all over your body evenly. And you basically just let it sit on your body for an hour to three hours, depending on how dark you wanna be. The longer amount of time you let it sit on the body, the darker you'll get. And then you shower it off and basically like a little film comes off in the shower. You will look kind of dirty. So make sure that you're wearing um, baggy clothes and you're not really going anywhere special. And then after you've showered that off, wait a couple more hours and with time your tan develops. So basically last night I put on my tanner, I waited three hours, I showered it off and then when I woke up this morning I had this very natural glow. So that's my favorite right now because you only have to wear it for three hours for a dark tan. I used to use St. Tropez but it was a different kind and it's where you had to wait six to eight hours so I would basically sleep in it and that just wasn't really comfortable. Um, you know, you can get it on your sheets and your clothes and it will come out in the wash, but no one wants to really feel dirty in their bed. So um, I would just rather use the Express and do it a couple hours during the day. Um, you also want to make sure that when you're using self tanners, before you apply them, you shave everything, exfoliate, and have your skin very hydrated and clean. Um, that will make your tan last longer. Um, some of the maintaining techniques is always staying hydrated and using a lotion after you've showered. So I use the Jergens tan, medium to tan color. Um, I don't use this because I want to be darker. I use this because they've changed their formula. I used to use this in middle school and it would make you smell like butter and it would turn you orange. So they've definitely changed the formula. It smells like cotton, and to be honest, I don't really get much color out of this at all. Um, so I'm using it for primarily hydration, and I always apply that when I get out of the shower to maintain my tan. And the drier you are, the more patchy and flaky your tan will become as the days go on. So you definitely want to stay hydrated. Um... I tried this out just to see if it would make me tan and it didn't, so I just have kept it for a moisturizer and I love it. Um, something else by St. Tropez is their one night only um, lotions. They're like bronzing lotions. And I sometimes just use that before I put on my makeup. They have um, a light to medium and a medium to dark shade. So those are fun if you need something temporary. It will wash off after you know your night out and you've taken your makeup off. Um, next, I'd love to talk about Bondi Sands. This is a huge thing across social media right now. Everyone is wondering if it works great, and I am here to tell you the truth. Bondi Sands Dark Foam is what I ordered first. I was really excited to use this. It smells like coconut, which is great. However, I did not really get tan with it. Um, I was shocked because I bought the color dark, and I did it in a couple layers. 
so I thought for sure that it would work and nothing really happened so I was kind of disappointed however I also purchased the Bondi Sands liquid gold dry oil it's not oily even though it says oil it's just wet and I love to use this just on my face and neck and I apply it with a dense makeup brush you could always use the mitt that you got before um, but I like the brush better and I just use it on my face because I feel like it doesn't clog my pores. Um, it's a spray, but I don't recommend spraying it directly on your body or your face because it could fly everywhere and it almost stained my chair. So just be careful. Um, I, would, I would spray it directly to your mitt or your brush and then apply it that way. Um, and you can also use that all over your body as well. But I just choose to use it on my face and my neck. Um, lastly is Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. I got this about a year or two ago. I used it during the summertime so my skin was not dry and I was patchy within two days. So I did get dark but I was patchy in two days which is not normal and my skin was not dry. I was staying hydrated. I exfoliated. I knew the whole shebang and I still had an issue with it. So that's not my favorite. I would just like to add though with self tanners that it might work differently for people's different skin types um, or your overall skin tone. I've had people tell me that they actually preferred Loving Tan over St. Tropez because their skin tone was different and I didn't really realize that that could be a factor. So. I wouldn't really knock all of these products right away. I, I mean, if you want to give it a shot, you can. But this is what I love to do the most. And I would recommend St. Tropez, any of their products, or the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold. Um, as far as maintaining it, make sure that you are moisturizing, exfoliating, and just overall staying healthy and out of those tanning beds. Um, I hope you have a great holiday and that this helped. Um, you can always reach out to me on social media for any questions. And yeah, Merry Christmas.